you do with those? Earlier this summer, the Prime Minister saw firsthand how one hospital, Salford Royal, ensured it had the right number of nurses working on each hospital ward. Getting the ratio of staff to patients right is important for the quality of care the hospital can offer. The report into the failings at Stafford Hospital found that managers put balancing the books ahead of ensuring there were enough nursing staff on duty. Now the Health Select Committee says the lessons of the Stafford scandal need to be learned. The system as a whole, around staffing ratios, but around a wide range of other issues as well, needs to have a culture of openness that where these decisions are not made in the boardroom remote from public scrutiny, but are made in public and where the evidence of, on which they're based is, made, is available to the public. Today's report highlights how Salford Royal gets it right. On general medical wards, there is one qualified nurse to every eight patients, what's considered a safe ratio. Staff numbers are carefully monitored several times a day, and information on how many nurses are actually on duty is displayed for patients and visitors to see. But research gathered by King's College London suggests some hospitals have struggled to achieve a safe ratio of staff to patients. Vital care gets left undone when there are poorer staffing levels and we also see a relationship to mortality rates. Patients are more likely to die in hospitals unnecessarily if the staffing levels are poorer. Okay. And the number of staff on duty is an area the new Chief Inspector of Hospitals in England will be studying carefully. We will look to see what the care on that ward is like. We will then look at the staffing levels and we will comment on, on these. And not just how many staff, but what levels of staff they are as well. The Health Select Committee says greater transparency over staffing is one example of the NHS in England developing a much more open culture, one where it's easier to raise concerns about the quality of care. Dominic Hughes, BBC News.